What's up guys, the Lazy Goldmaker here, back with another 9.2 video. Um, and today we're going to take a look at Crafter's Marks, and we're going to take a look specifically about how to set up TSM to get correct pricing for all of your Crafter's Marks if you're going into that market. So, without further ado, let's dive in. So, the first thing I'm going to show you is the reason for why you want to, uh, or need to use uh, a different setup than just using the default crafting cost in TSM. Um, so here I have a couple of item level 230 pieces crafted with the crafter's mark of the chain dial. As you can see here on these leatherworking uh, gloves, the crafter's mark cost is 3,600 gold at the bottom of the tooltip. Um, and then on my on my shadow lace belt, my tail ring belt, it's using a crafter's mark cost of 4,570 gold um, for a crafting cost of 4,700 gold. Uh, whereas these only have a crafting cost of 3,800 gold. Now, what TSM doesn't know is that both of these have been crafted with the same crafter's mark because I have tailoring and jewel crafting on, or tailoring and leatherworking on the same crafter. Um, but TSM, by default, right now, it only supports using the same crafter's mark as the uh, as the profession that you crafted the item with. So all tailoring pieces will default to using the crafting cost of the tailoring crafter's mark. Uh, now, the difference in cost between crafter's marks is significant, so that means that this is guaranteed to be incorrect, pretty much. And <clears throat> so almost a 100% a uh, chance that this is going to be in incorrect, or is at least going to be incorrect for about half of your professions, depending specifically on how you set it up. Let's take a, a look at how we can solve this. All right, so this is the pretty simple uh, math or setup that we're gonna use. We're gonna take the crafting cost of the item, including the mark, and then we need to subtract the crafting cost of uh, the crafter's mark for that specific profession. Um, so we're gonna, for a tailoring item, we will be subtracting the cost of a tailoring crafter's mark. And then we're gonna add the crafting cost of the cheapest crafter's mark available for that crafter. Um, and specifically, we want this box to update dynamically. So we want, if the crafting cost has changed, so tailoring is now the cheapest rather than leatherworking, or the other way around, then we want this to always rep uh, represent the cheapest one. Um, so the way we're going to solve this is we're going to use a couple of different TSM building uh, blocks. We're going to use the basic TSM crafting price source here. Then we're going to use one craft, one custom source that is just a crafting cost for that specific profession. And then we're going to have another slightly more advanced custom source that's going to be a combination it's going to take two crafters mark prices compare them and pick the cheapest we do this by using the minimum formula or min uh, formula in tsm um, so that's that's how we're going to do it now what this means this setup is going to be a little bit comprehensive because we're going to need every crafting profession will need two custom sources two custom price sources in tsm um, so that each crafting profession will have its own operation with this framework uh, built into it. Um, and that will ensure that it's just super easy to import for you guys um, and um, and you can get uh, you'll you'll get the, the custom sources you need. Now that's not necessarily the best option if I was just making this for myself because some of these custom sources as we'll see later, um, some of these are going to be the same if you only have two crafters like I have. Um, but that's the basic setup. So let's take a look at, um, at what we need for setting up the custom sources. So, here it is. Um, the other day on stream I uh, spent some time building out this. This is uh, These are the custom sources for all of the crafters mark of the first ones. Uh, we use the mat price source in TSM and then we're looking up specific items. So this is the first flower item ID and we need 25 of that. Uh, and math price just uses the default material value method in TSM. So for crafted items, that's gonna be the crafting cost, if that's the cheapest, or it's gonna be the market value of that item, uh, or the vendor purchase price for vendor items. Um, so we've built this. Um, and these are gonna be the second box, the box in the middle, we're gonna use tailoring, leatherworking, uh, blacksmithing and jewel crafting straight up. They're gonna just use this string. Uh, to subtract subtract the cost of that specific crafter's mark. Now to get the second one, um, the second price or the last price custom source that we need, um, that will typically take the form of being min, like this, and then we would take, let's say, the jewel crafting price source, 
if our crafter has dual crafting. Uh, and then we'd add a comma, and then we'd add the price source for the second profession. So if that's blacksmithing, that's blacksmithing. And then we do it like this, uh, and we get an ungodly long one. Now I've taken some time to uh, simplify this entire process for you. Um, so instead of having to copy and paste and make your own sources, you can just um, you can just go to this spreadsheet that I've made, and that's also linked in the description. And it'll give you literally everything you need. Um, we have everything here. Uh, so, obviously we needed two sources for each profession. Um, th these ones down here, these are the ones that are used to subtract. So this is the one that is just uh, the first one, uh, Crafters Marker, the first one's cost for blacksmithing is this one, for instance. Um, so we have the names in this column and, um, and then the source strings in these columns. Now, the magic is up here where instead of having to copy and paste yourself, you just take, okay, blacksmithing, what's the second profession I have on my blacksmither? Well, that's jewel crafting. Pick jewel crafting, and now the st entire string you need is in this, um, in this cell, and you can just copy and paste it straight into TSM. Um, the same for jewel crafting, pick whatever your secondary profession is. Uh, you can do this, obviously, in this case, where blacksmithing and jewel crafting have each other. These two are actually gonna be exactly the same, uh, although they'll be the, the They'll be flipped, but they will evaluate as the exact same value. So theoretically, you wouldn't need both. But as I'm making this for um, to make it easy for you guys to import, then we're going to have all of them. And for anyone, who, for instance, who optimized for um, for 9.1 crafters marks and might have a setup like this, where the second profession is alchemy on all of their crafters, then uh, we can support that as well. Um, so once you've done this, now we have everything we need. We can uh, copy the name of the source, and then we go into World of Warcraft. And uh, the custom sources, which is under settings, custom sources, then we will add a new one. First we add the name, then we're gonna tab back, select this cell, click uh, Control C or copy or whatever, paste it in here, and click confirm. And now we have it set up. And uh, now we just have to do that about eight more times. Uh, actually, if you want to do all of the crafters marks, it's going to be about 14 more times. Um, uh, sadly, there's no way there's no way to get this correct and make it easier than this. Um, but you'll just have to add all of these custom sources and then you're ready to go. La do you have everything? Um, we can now just import the group, um, which you do here. Uh, and you'll find the full group linked in the blog post in the description. You can find the full group uh, at the bottom of that one. And then once you have your string, you just select this, you copy it in and you import it. This isn't actually the crafter's mark string, but that's uh, beside the point. Um, then once you have that, you can use the TSM group to post your crafter's marks of the first ones, post your crafter's mark four items. Uh, the setup does not include crafting operations because the correct amount to craft depends on a lot of factors such as how much gold you have, what, how much time you have when you play, how much you typically sell in a week, which is based on your realm, and a lot of other, other factors. So you'll have to figure out the optimal amount to keep in stock yourself. Um, the setup, one other thing to note about this setup is that in general, you want to make sure that you add your items specifically. So I'll show you right here on my other account um, where I have all of these crafters marks uh, of, uh, of the chain dial from, uh, from back in the day. We should have um, a blacksmithing group here. Crafters mark of the chain dial. You can see here, I've added all of the item level 230 specific stat variants I have. So what I do is once I've crafted some new ones, I go here and I find the item level 230 ones that aren't in a group. And then I add those specifically to this group so that I post one of each stat variant because I find that people are willing to pay a premium for the specific stat variant that they're looking for um, in some cases. So I want to post one of each stat variant uh, and I don't, you can't find all of these bonus IDs outside of the game. So you do have to actually add this manually once you have the items in your bag. They're going to show up here as ungrouped items and you can just add them like this. Um, there's going to be a, a group here for crafters mark of the first one. So there's going to be another one for crafters mark four, and you want to add them. Um, you can even just use a search here to do it qu faster, like I260. That would give you all items above item level 260. So if you have a bunch of crafters mark of the chain dial items, then you can easily group up those, um, and you could select them all and move them all at once, which would um, would save you quite a bit of time. 
Um, <clears throat> and that's pretty much um, much it. Then you can just run to the auction house, start posting these, run auctioning scans, run cancel scans if you want to do that. Um, if we take a look at the auction house right now, uh, just using the same i260 search, uh, we'll see that there's a bunch already up on the auction house on EU. Uh, at least there was on one of my smaller population realms, so I'm assuming that we're going to find a bunch here as well. Um, this is not... Does not uh, give a. Hmm, that didn't work. What about this one? Come on. All right. Quick oxide. Okay. Completely broken this auction house today, huh? We'll just do it like this then. Quick Oxide, we can see them here. Item level 262, Quick Oxide Necklace, Quick Oxide and Rings. Out for 100k currently. Um, I don't have the recipes yet because I'm a slacker when it comes to rep farming. Uh, I'll, uh, I might get some tomorrow, but most likely not until Thursday. Um, uh, I'll probably need one more day of uh, dailies to get there. Uh, I haven't done the full math at, uh, with the new patterns within patterns. Um, but yeah, they're out on the auction house. They're out and about and selling. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're uh, if you're there, then you're there. You can see that my Kchak, our fellow YouTuber, is actually the one who's made all of these on the <laughs> on the auction house on uh, on Draenor currently. So we'll have to ask him how uh, how it's going. Um, but that's pretty much everything you needed to get started with TSM uh, for Crafter Smarks to make sure that you're using the correct cost um, and the correct valuation for your items. So hopefully you learned something, uh, ho both about TSM and you got the settings that you need to get started with these items. Uh, I'm sure many of you will have the recipes by now. Um, just be ready to post. So if you are uh, if you enjoyed, if you learned something, make sure you leave a like. That way YouTube will uh, help other people make gold as well. Um, or, and it'll really, really help me out. If you want to get early access to guides like this and, um, and my full TSM setup ahead of time, then you can uh, subscribe uh, to my Patreon at patreon.com slash the lazy goldmaker. There's a link in the description uh, where you get, well, amongst other things, seven days of early access to all of my um, video guides and text guides. So um, head on over there if you're interested. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Goodbye. Bye.